This sucks. So I'm really late to this. Um, I don't know why. I just haven't checked any news today. But Tyree Jackson is out 8 to 10 weeks due to a back injury. I saw Joey Shakes post about this. And I was surprised. And that sucks. Because he has a lot of potential. And it's unfortunate. Um, I just... Eagles tight end is expected to miss 8 to 10 weeks as he recovers from a fractured bone in his back. The injury will not require surgery, though, according to the team's public relations department. Jackson got hurt after making an impressive leap, uh, leaping grab during Tuesday's joint practice uh, against the New England Patriots. He fell pretty hard on his back, right in front of where I was standing, the, the guy writing this article, obviously. It looked painful, and he spent some time on the ground before walking it off with a trainer. This development is unfortunate because Jackson was having a really good training camp, especially relative to expectation as a former quarterback in his first offseason playing tight end. One would hope the injury doesn't hinder his long-term outlook. Back injuries are always concerning, and that's exactly why I wanted to come up and talk about it, because we've seen this happen before to a lot of people in the past. Quarterbacks are one thing, but you know, tight ends, wide receivers, linemen, I mean, back injuries are probably the worst injuries to get outside of knee injuries. Like, let's be real, and concussions, because those both are injuries that can cause a lot of lingering, like, after effects. You know, you might not be entirely the same after you get concussed. You might not be entirely the same after, say, Dak Prescott fracturing his ankle or any other quarterback in the league or anybody in general who tears an ACL or an or an Achilles, you know, those are rough. Back injuries are the same exact thing because, I mean, you see, like, we've seen, we've seen people come and go, and one person in particular is Car, uh, almost said his name, Tony Romo. I don't know why I was saying, glad to say his name, but Tony Romo. Tony Romo, um, messed up his back, uh, had his call, like, had a lot of injuries, but that back injury was the one thing he couldn't recover from. That's what ultimately let Dak Prescott take, uh, take the main, Spot in 2016. Now, that injury put him out of his misery, which was unfortunate for Tony Romo. But hopefully this isn't as bad as we uh, we are hearing it is. It's just a fracture. Um, but still, 8 to 10 weeks. That means that that's, that's rough. And he will most likely... Well, it's interesting. They don't know exactly where he's going to be on the roster. As of right now, if they place him on injury reserve, he won't be eligible to return at any point during the 2021 season. If they want him to be active, they'll have to carry him on their own, uh, on the original 53-man roster before then moving him to IR. And then he'll be eligible uh, to be activated after week three, though the projected timeline has him coming back at week six, uh, between week six and week eight. Um, and he's not eligible for the uh, the pup list because he was already practicing in camp, so they can't put him on the pup list, so... They'll have to probably put him on the 53-man. Wait, okay. So, they're going to have to probably put him on the 53 and then on the IR right after the season starts. Um, because Ertz is still here. Dallas Goddard is your main man, your your consistent main man. And then you also have Richard Rodgers, who is solid, who is very solid. So, we'll just have to wait and see what what will happen now that he's on the shelf? I mean, you have Jason Kroom and Jack Stahl, who are the other guys that are probably going to be on the practice squad after this uh, preseason. But now, hey, they have more of an opportunity to shine. So we'll see how those two uh, uh, take this opportunity, you know, because they'll be getting more reps and they'll be getting more playing time tomorrow uh, against the Patriots. And before I end the video, I wanted to talk about that game. I'm hoping we see a lot of our, our our starters. I'm hoping we see a lot of our starters. I hope we see um, a lot of good things, too. No one gets hurt, please. On both sides of the ball, no injuries. No one gets hurt. Play smart, safe football. This isn't do or die. This ain't no Super Bowl 52. This is just a preseason game that we, we're just here to evaluate. That's all this is about. Evaluate and build up chemistry with our starters and see who's going to make the cut. That's all this is about. It's going to be fun. I'm 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 excited for tomorrow. It's going to be a good game at the link. You got a couple of Eagles, former Eagles returning and wish nothing but the best to Tyree Jackson uh cuz that's rough. And yeah, I'll see you guys after that and stay tuned for Monday as well. I'll probably have a podcast coming out then, so stay tuned. I'm doing those every single week, so 
Links will be in the description if you want to go follow and support that. And I'll see you all later. Fly goes fly. Peace out.